<clears throat> Good morning. Okay. Real quick. Okay. I'll be back. But, um, hold on. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh my goodness gracious, Sheldon's staring right at me. What's up, big boy? Hi. Okay, yeah, Lucy, I love you too. Don't you worry, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. <clears throat> Watch out for your health. Um, I came on because there's there's a shift. And you, you know what's I want, ironic? Um, I just heard, where's the irony? Well, the irony is... Okay, anywho, besides that, okay? Because I don't see anything here. I think your health's going to get better. I'm going to clarify. The only thing right now for some people that you need to focus on is love. So I don't know if you got it. You're doubting it. If there's love, it can be successful. I, I, you know, obviously it needs to be mutual. Definitely have a challenge in front of you. Um, if you're going to let envy get in the way, then someone's guarded. Um, it, it's only about health. Two of Wands, but it's reversed. So you got the Seven of Wands. You're so guarded. See, someone's stressed out about something, um, which is telling me they're not going towards love because there would be a little fear. To me, this wouldn't be attached to fear, but other stuff would be. And you're stressed out about a new start going in a new direction, but you want it. There's love. Something maybe doesn't seem practical. You're just, you're super guarded. Yeah, see the anxiety? Y yeah, it's almost like you don't want to make the move. You have the strength to do it. You're looking at the Queen of Wands as if maybe it won't, wouldn't happen. Um, what was I just feeling? So you're stressed. I mean, you could be having issues with your gut right now. Um, especially if you're not following your intuition. Someone's on the wrong medication, but that's probably for, like, a particular person. But you would already know that. Like, meaning you're off of it. Um, which has nothing to do with this. Um, so it, it's, you got doubt here. I'm surprised that doubt didn't come out. Tell me about success. So it, it can be. But see, these are lessons, troops. So it's like you can either follow through with it or or not. Um, so it, it's like you're definitely ready with the two of wands reversed. Because if it was upright, you're, you're ready. I mean, the two is out. You're ready. You're just not taking it. You're just not going after it. So you do love. You just don't. You're not. It's, it's almost like something about your, you don't feel ready, but your soul is ready, if that makes sense. Like, so you're ready. Seven of Swords. See, you're sabotaging this, this situation. See, yeah, your future's here. 
and you're you're not you're not pursuing it you're sabotaging your own situation you're, you're stressed out your health isn't good could be your gut um anything that would be related to the central nerves um tell me about envy i think you this is more about conditioning like what are other people going to think? I don't think you're talking about this. There's no way. Yeah, see, the hangman. It's like you're keeping your mouth shut. This, Yeah, so you got the fool at the bottom of the deck. There's a new stat. There's something here. So it's, it's, it's almost like it's going to go down. It's only a matter of time before you send a message. Could be down with the Pisces. So, someone stressed out and sabotaging their new start. Why is the hangman here? I mean, clearly we know why it's here, but let's get a little more. Get the devil reverse. So, you're just, maybe you're getting out of something. Some type of not a good scenario. Or you're trying to figure your way out. You're not changing your perspective. That is for damn sure. You're not sacrificing. Someone needs to sacrifice and accept a situation. This could speak of attraction, but you're putting it on hold. But that would be you mentally telling yourself it's, it's not there. Tell me about the two of wands. So you already have the opportunity. Opportunity is already in the ethers because you added two. So you're definitely sabotaging your own situation. Which is unfortunate, but it happens sometimes, you know. But I, I say it's unfortunate in this scenario because um, you're dealing with an upper type energy, masculine. I say it's unfortunate in this type of scenario because there, there is love. It's just, it's a challenge, and you're stubborn as shit right now. Stubborn as shit. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Seven of Wands again, and the Nine of Wands. Um, like, um, but I didn't finish calling it. Isn't that what came up before, too? Yeah, the Eight of Cups. I don't know if you got to walk away from some type of situation or you're just like, I can't do this. I, I got to walk away. You're stuck. You feel stuck, but you're not. You're stressed. It's up to you if you want to make the move. You might be walking towards the Queen of Cups or you might be stressed out about a Queen of Cups. Or maybe a Queen of Cups walked away from the Emperor. Maybe she put something on hold. He he did or she did. Tell me about the emperor. So watch your health. Because you don't want it to start uh, literally affecting that type of stuff. You can accomplish anything if you put your mind to it. An emperor definitely can. Okay, so you're more than capable of doing this. Some of the Queen of Cups. Or maybe you're too disciplined. I don't, I don't know. The doubt and the blame just came out, so hold on. You got abundance. I'm a limitless being. I can manifest whatever I want into reality. So she's not manifesting this connection. She's not either. Maybe she doesn't manifest love. She could be a lot like me, for example. Um, do I want that type of... I always would choose to love, right? Um, but I also know what type of love I desire. I'm also the type that never manifests love. There's there's no need. What what's meant to be will be. I got lots of love in my life. Um 
but I won't ever say, I pray for this emperor. I, I'm going to manifest this. I want this particular person. No. Spirit knows your guides. Everybody already knows exactly what it is you want. You have thoughts of this, thoughts of that. You got to be careful with your thoughts, right? So this one's just focused on being happy. She doesn't need to manifest anyone in her life. Um, she could be awfully blocked. I don't know if this is linked to her or not, or it starts out this way, right? But like, maybe he walked away from her. He sabotaged it. He never really, you know, told her how he truly feels about a situation. Never really expressed, you know, um, like he could manifest it if he manifests. You could manifest it if you manifest, but... <sighs> See, when she manifests something, it's almost like if that's what it's regarding, she's like me. What's, what's meant to be will be. It, it will come into reality if it's if it's for me. I'm not, oh, I want someone who's six feet. I want this. I want this person. Nope. I never wish. I wish for a person. I wish for somebody like this. I wish for somebody who will come in and, and we can meet our needs. We can balance each other out, you know, yada, yada. <clears throat> So that could be the case for some. Others, it's he walked away. He came out first, so he walked away from her. But I did talk about the Eight of Cups, and, and she came out. So, I mean, she could have walked away too. And she's just worried about... She's not, she not even worried. She's, she's just taking care of what needs to be taken care of. Maybe she's looking in this direction. So she's already aware that there's a challenge and somebody needs to make a sacrifice and leave a situation. Or drop an addiction. Let's find out about this hangman. <clears throat> yeah, you're, you're dealing with somebody who's indecisive. And not using their intuition. That's probably why they're having issues with their gut. You know, not using their intuition when it comes to this situation. Okay. Um about this emperor one more time best advice for the emperor best advice for the emperor you get the sun it's basically saying go after what it is you want you have the clarity or give the clarity there's potential there's growth this is they say it's the best card in the deck you know call it just for a little mental balance, mind, body, and soul. Go after the sun, you know. Um, whatever this situation is, will grow, can grow. I got sunshine. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. On a cloudy day. When it's cold outside. That's way too many. Queen of Cups. From what just popped out, it looks like she's more like mentally balancing her thoughts. Something flipped, but it wasn't. It had already been flipped. Queen of Cups, please. Best advice for the Queen of Cups. Or this might be just be saying, right? This might just be saying... Right around the Cancer Eclipse full moon, but the moon hasn't come out lately. Seven of Cups reversed, so she's no longer confused about a situation. She's not dwelling on the past. She had enough strength to go after her own desires. She's following her destiny, okay? Um, so she's, she's not confused about a situation. She, she holds a lot of strength right now, too. Best advice for the hangman. The hangman seems to be Pisces type energy, not using their intuition, right? Feeling stuck, not, uh, could be a very intuitive person, but it is too much of a challenge. They don't want to um, deal. You got the Eight of Wands reverse and the King of Swords reverse. This person's not even talking. They're not even talking. So, absolutely beautiful sacred connection here. Somebody is extremely in love with the King of Cups, sacred bond with the Two of This is hello. That's insane. The Two of Cups, the lovers, and the King of Cups. And you got a quart couple right here. And he's actually looking at her now, you know, in the strength. 
wherever that is. Okay, so kind of an unfortunate situation because there's there's a lot of love, there's there's potential, there's opportunities, there's growth. Someone is no longer confused and the other one is still stressed out, so I don't know what that's regarding. Um if you guys are in a relationship, definitely talk it out. Okay. There's obviously some indifferences there. If you are not in a relationship and not talking, then somebody is just worried about their own their own happiness, their health, their their abundance, which is, you know, a very well well rounded person that's focusing on finances, focusing on creating emotional and mental balance in their life, focusing on the health, focusing on themselves, focusing on things that doesn't take away from their day-to-day -day activity. And then you have another person that's not using their intuition, probably has some gut issues going on right now. Um, but health will improve, especially with the sun coming out on the health card. It will improve. If you are masculine, it most definitely will. But for some of you, it's after you stop being indecisive and go after what it is you want, which is love. So it's like you're putting yourself in a situation that is stressful when it's it's not necessary. All you have to do is accept and it won't seem like a challenge. There shouldn't be that much challenge in love. You know, unless it's the emperor walking away from a wife or um, a husband, vice versa, because there was a court couple. If you are married, it's saying walk away from an unhealthy situation. It looks like someone might with the devil being reversed. It just really depends on what your scenario is. But this more or less looks like someone that's possibly not together. Got feelings for someone else. Not talking about it. Not expressing. Stressed out. Still thinks about a certain situation. Just. We don't know the final ending. You know what I mean? All in due time. These are these are lessons. You either. You follow through with them. Or you, or you don't. You know what I mean? Jelly beans. So. Do your best to. Um, I don't know. Maybe some ginger tea at bedtime. Um. Calm your belly too. Ginger's very calming on the gut. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.